everyone welcome to tech shermit in this session we will discuss another example for prepare and execute statement in our previous session we discussed how we can uh, read the data from a file with the help of prepare and execute statement this time also we are going to discuss about the data reading from the file but today we will discuss the process we are we are using uh, prepare and execute statement in order to build a query dynamic query which will read multiple records from the file okay so let's see uh, how we are using it but before that i will show you some table and the data on which we are going to perform this so on session b i will run one command str sql and here i will show you the table so for that i will write one query select star from shermit1 which is my library name slash and my table name is students if i hit enter here you will see there are multiple records right now specifically look for the uh, student id 600 here we have two record with student id 600 which is uh, with one name is testing and one name is detection myth okay now uh, assume a scenario where we want to fetch all the record where uh, wherever there is id 600 for a student we we want all those data so how to retrieve that so to retrieve that we will use this program here what we have created first of all i have declared this pi in order to take some uh, parameters as input so we here we are in taking this uh, student id as input parameter which is of character 5 okay i always prefer to take parameters in characters so that's why i just make it character and this p underscore will represent as a prefix for the parameter okay after that we are using this constant uh, which is named as sql state underscore valid with five times zero and this constant we will use to verify the query once it is executed because after query execution every query returns some sql status and if that SQL status is matched with this SQL state underscore valid, then it means your query uh, has been uh, executed properly. Otherwise, there is some issue. So accordingly, we can populate some error message or we can take the corrective measures. After that, here you can see we have declared some of the variables uh, like SQL STMT character 100. This variable we will use to prepare the string. Uh, not to prepare but to design the string okay because preparing is different thing so <coughs> sql stmt we will use to uh, design the string whatever string we want to execute uh, query okay then we have this w underscore student name where care 255 this variable we will use to store the output uh, which we are retrieving from the query similarly we have w underscore student id of character 5 this variable also we will use to retrieve the output uh, received from the query then we have one result variable this variable we are using in order to store the output means uh, you can see this is the very large data right large data type so what we will do we will trim out this the value which is stored in this w underscore student name and then store it into result and then later result will be populated on screen afterwards we have set the exec sql set option to commit star none and from here we are starting with a string manipulation so first of all we are preparing the string or designing the string so for that just need to write a sql stmt and this is the query so you can see select star from this time we are taking all the columns from students where student id is question mark now this question mark will work as a uh, placeholder so let me copy this query okay now here i will paste it we are just verifying it okay so if i replace this placeholder with actual value then you can see it is fetching multiple record or the record which has uh, student id as 600 it means this query is working fine all right so this is a best way to verify your query before preparing the statement now query is okay the string is okay then we will prepare the statement so to prepare the statement you need to write exec sql 
prepare stmt1 from and this is your string name as a host variable colon sql stmt afterwards we are executing sql in order to declare the cursor so here my cursor name is student data and this cursor is for statement 1 stmt1 till here we have not provided the placeholder value but the moment when we are going to open this cursor you can see here i am opening the cursor student data using and then we are providing that value so like uh, if you are not sure like if you have covered the previous session that you you may have, you must know like uh, whenever we are doing the opening of the cursor we just write open and cursor name but this time we are using additional information which is using and then we are providing the placeholder value so my placeholder value would be p underscore student id so it means this question mark or this placeholder will be replaced with the value which we are providing here if you have multiple uh, placeholders accordingly you can provide the placeholder values okay now below to this uh, as we are fetching the multiple records so it is required to run a loop so here i am running one loop till sql state is equal to sql state underscore valid and then i am fetching the data from uh, my cursor student data into the required uh, host variable w underscore student id and w underscore student name now one thing is that like uh, when we are fetching multiple column although for this table we have only two columns right student id and student name but it might be possible there are multiple columns in the table so in that case i would prefer you uh, to go with our data structure and define all the column as a subfields for now we just have only two values that's why i just passed two separate variable here as a host variable but if there is more than two uh, columns then i i will also go with a data structure and in place of uh, here uh, i will simply go and put the data structure okay fine so what it will do it will fetch the data one by one till the loop is iterating into the require uh, into the given host variable now we are checking for the uh, basic validation if sql state is equal to sql state underscore valid then we are tripping uh, we are trimming the w underscore student name and storing it in result variable and then displaying the student id and result in else if condition it will check for the 2000 it means end of file if end of file occur it will simply print the message end of file and leave the loop but if uh, uh, the thing is apart from this like uh, uh, this is not the situation uh, these two conditions are false then in that case it will go inside else block and it will show the error along with the sql state and simply leave the loop and end if and do and last at last it will close the cursor like after data is fetched loop is closed then we will simply close the cursor some people make a mistake like they put uh, this closing cursor also inside a program uh, loop but it is not correct right because if you close uh, after one iteration then there is uh, issue in fetching the next record so always keep it outside the loop and at last we are just turning on the inla to star on so let's quickly compile this program and see what we have as an output so it is compiled successfully now if i call it directly let's see what will happen i'm calling it directly it will give error why because inside program we have mentioned that it will receive one parameter we have declared the pi and free format pi means it will take some entry parameters if you have work, if you have worked on fixed format then you know star entry uh, was there right here we have pi so it is expecting one parameter from us so let's provide it so i will write c then press f4 and here simply i will provide one parameter if there is more than one parameter you can use plus icon here to open the parameter list but for now we have only one so i will directly pass it here 600 and hit enter so you can see if i show you result again f10 f10 you can see after calling this program it prints 600 as a student id then testing then 600 again and end detection myth and at last it prints end of file once it is uh, once there is no record found okay now similarly if i run this again but for that id which is not present let's see what will happen if i 
look for 666 it will show end of file because there is no record okay so this is how we can easily utilize prepare and execute a statement in order to receive multiple values with the help of loop so the key point is you need to take some parameter parameter you can take with the help of pi and after that you can simply uh, declare the required variables then make your string ready and the best trick to verify your string is just copy your string from here paste it on the stereoscale screen and just replace your uh, like placeholder with the actual value and if it is uh, populating the desired output then it is good it means the query is okay then simply go and prepare the tmt1 means statement from the string once it is prepared then declare the cursor on the basis of statement and then simply at the time of opening the cursor this is a very important point at the time of opening the cursor provide the required placeholder values and then just iterate one loop and inside loop fetch data one by one into the uh, past uh, variables and then check for the SQL state for the basic validation if everything is okay display all the records if uh, there is some issue or 2000 occur then mean it means end of file and in case of else condition it will print the error with the SQL state so the user can easily take the corrective measures and at last make sure to close the uh, cursor outside the loop and then simply go and set the INLR to star on okay so this is how we can easily utilize prepare and execute a statement in order to build a query a dynamic query which we can use to fetch multiple records okay and if you are fetching more than uh, two columns then go with a data structure as a host variable at the time of fetching the data use host variable as a data structure so that would save your lines right otherwise you need to pass multiple variables like this instead of that just simply pass one data structure name and define all the subfields inside one uh, data structure as per your uh, column which you are going to fetch from the query so yeah that's all for this session i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share method